Hi, Kelly Clement here for Metastock. I'm pleased today to be talking to you about some enhancements we've made to the Forecaster tool. When we launched the Forecaster back with version 13, we knew we had something that our Metastock users would love. And we were right, we've had a lot of great positive feedback about the Forecaster. But people wanted more flexibility and customization with the Forecaster as well. So in Metastock 15, we're very excited that we've been able to bring in some enhancements to the Forecaster that now allow you to be able to plot your forecasts in any time frame. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in Metastock. Now while I'm pulling this up, if, if you've never used the Forecaster, I encourage you to go check out some videos about the Forecaster, learn a little bit more about it and what it does. We'll just be talking about how the new time frames work within the Forecaster here in this video. So if we go in and we're pulling up a chart, so let's just say we're pulling up Apple. Historically, you were only able to ever plot this in a daily chart. So now if you're using Metastock RT as I am here, you're actually able to do 1 minute, 5 minute, 10, 30, 60, or even go down into any custom time frame you want. So let's say, for example, you wanted a 75 minute bar. You could do a 75 minute bar, click OK, and it would plot in that custom time frame. Or again, you can choose any of the custom time frames that are built into Metastock. Within the interval, if you're running Metastock DC, you can look at any of the intervals working daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly, or do your own custom days. So if you wanted a three-day bar, or a six-day bar, or a two-week bar, you could do that. So let's just bring up one here really quick in a 30-minute. We'll go ahead and click the Start Forecaster button. And then it'll bring it up. Now, one of the enhancements that you see up here, it'll tell you that you're running in 30-minute and you're running an online. So if you had local data, uh, which is another one of the new features in Metastock 15, you could bring up your forecasts on local data, uh, which is awesome as well. So we have a 30 minute uh, chart here, and we can go ahead and plot our forecast from the most recent event here, which was a big black candle on this particular one. Uh, we can look at the current cloud, come over here, look at the past performance cloud. So all the features of the forecaster and what you've been able to do are, are here now, on custom time frames and any interval you want to work with. So when it brings up this 30 minute chart, it's gonna be snapshot from when you pulled the data over. If you're working on a chart in Metastock, let's just uh, pull up a regular chart here. So we'll, I've got the Dow typed in here. We'll just go ahead and open up that chart. And let's say I open this up to a five minute chart or a 10 minute chart, and I send that over to the forecaster, it's actually going to go ahead and pull that up in that time frame from right from where you pull it inside Metastock. So let me just close off this indicator down here. So we'll right, let's change it to a five minute chart here on the Dow. We'll right click, go forecaster, and you'll notice when it pulls up in the forecaster, it now pulls up in that five minute interval. So it'll mirror right from Metastock, right what you're working on. So that's one of the big enhancements we've made is that custom time frame ability. We're really excited about that. Some of the other enhancements we've made here is now it'll show you down at the bottom of the chart where how many bars forward you're looking into the future as well when you plot your forecast cloud. So for example, if I plot a cloud here, You'll now see we have uh, one five minute bar, seven five minute bars, 12, 18, 24, 30. So if it was daily bars, you'd see those daily bars plotted out as well. So it gives you a really good insight to how far out you're looking for that setup to occur and how long it's going to take to, move, to do your move. Uh, one other last uh, set of uh, enhancements here we've made. So you, now you can come in and you can set your price interval for what you want your event recognizers to work with. So if you have price interval, price interval compatibility here, you can see they work on daily, weekly, monthly, quarter, yearly, or intraday is the I. So for example, if you dry, draw your own pattern, you can modify that pattern now, and you can set it for what time frames you want it to work on. So it's daily, weekly, monthly, so we'll just say this one works on daily and intraday. And then we'll save that, and you'll see that's now compatible with those time frames. So you can go in and modify your compatibility for whatever you'd like it to work with. But again, you know that ability to look at whatever time frame you want to look at in the Forecaster has long been in demand, and we're excited to be bringing that to, to you as a user. So I encourage you to check out Metastock 15 and check out what's new in the Forecaster. Thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this video today.